it is rumored that Johnny Depp is selling everything that reminds him of Amber Heard. However, Amber isn't exactly happy about it. But is there anything Amber Heard can do about it? Could she sue Johnny for selling the assets? Johnny Depp sold all five of his penthouse units when he divorced from Amber in 2016. They were unable to sell their shared penthouse because of Depp's defamation court case. One of five penthouses that Johnny purchased between 2007 and 2008 was located at the top of Columbia Building in downtown Los Angeles. This grand home features one bedroom and two baths, a living room and a dining room. It has 1,760 square feet of living space and is going for $1.765 million. The colors, style and overall decor of the house is a mix of eclectic and modern. Specifically, it has a Brazilian artist's mural in the dining room decorated with zebra wallpaper, a din lounge with an armchair and plush seating, an industrial kitchen and bedroom decorated with an orange and blue accent. Residents can enjoy a saltwater pool, spa fitness studio, sun deck and zen garden as well as concierge services. Johnny sold the penthouse a while back, but now he is selling some of his other assets and Amber is not happy. Some of his followers on social media said that they completely understand why Johnny would want to sell assets that remind him of Amber, especially the penthouse they lived in together. Johnny's security guard in the penthouse testified that he witnessed a lot of nasty things. One time, according to Travis McEwen, Amber slapped Johnny in the face, forcing him to step in. He went on to say that Amber and Johnny's fights would eventually turn physical, with Amber throwing a Red Bull can and a bag at Johnny Depp. He detailed a specific incident saying, I felt it was time to get Mr. Depp out of the situation, so I stepped in between Miss Heard and Mr. Depp, telling Mr. Depp that we were that we were leaving. Out of the corner of my eye, fist and an arm come across my right shoulder, heard and saw a closed fist contact Mr. Depp and the left side of his face. And that was just one of the many times that the fights got physical in their penthouse. So, it would make sense for Johnny to just sell the asset. Let's also not forget that the penthouse was also where Amber started to sleep with other people while in a relationship with Johnny. First, let's talk about James Franco. Amber testified in court that Johnny Depp tried to prevent her from taking jobs in Hollywood out of jealousy. She also said this of Johnny while referring to James Franco, he was mad at me for taking the job with James Franco. He hated James Franco, already accusing me kind of secretly having a thing with him in my past since we had done Pineapple Express together. Well, the evidence definitely proved otherwise since Johnny's team showed video footage of Amber and James in the penthouse elevator a day after an alleged fight erupted between Johnny and Amber which required police intervention. Based on this evidence, it would seem that whatever happened between them was staged as part of their plan to make John look bad. Amber's own witness psychologist, Dr. Dawn, discussed her handwritten notes about Amber's past intimate relationships and confirmed the initials, JF, written just above Elon Musk's name, stood for James Franco. There is also an ongoing debate whether Elon had an affair with Amber. A video showing him in the penthouse elevator with Amber has recently surfaced and ignited yet another round of speculation. Several people who worked at the penthouse said that Elon was seen in the residence late at night when Johnny wasn't around. Then there were the pictures that surfaced of Amber passionately making out with what fans think appears to be Cara Delevingne, who was said to be her girlfriend at the time. So, friends of Johnny said they totally understood why John would want to sell anything that might remind him of Amber. Well, she can't do anything about it because she doesn't own the assets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.